Hello guys, my name is Igor and today in this episode we are going I'm going to show you how you can bake normals in 2x3, normal set 2x3. So I have here 3ds Max open, I have my low, low poly and I will import my high poly to the scene, import file, yeah, I'm going to reset the location to 0, 0, 0, so so this is my high poly this is my low poly as you can see so we can export to tomorrow set I'm just going to add a reset text form to each one Reset. yeah that's okay if we go to the modifiers tab you should see X form so it doesn't have any kind of scaling errors um, then we go and we export select to FBX file. FBX file. Uh, having that ready, we are going to open Marmoset. We go and we import models. Going to import our row and clicking Control select to iPoly as well. You can use the quick loader, but in this case I will not. Um, as you can see in this model you can see the, um, the edges like going not really that smooth so we are going to make it really nice with set to bake so we are going to add a new baker it's a real nice shape because you know it's a baker yeah, basically uh, it's a bread so we get the baker and now we are going to drag the eye poly into the eye we're going to add the low poly to low and here we are going we already can see the cage but we also can see that some parts of the cage are inside of high poly so we are going to select max offset and now a really nice thing you can do with um, warm set is that you can really paint the offset and uh, you can go here and start painting start decreasing it's really nice you can also estimate the offset I'm just going to clear it yep I'm sure and you can also paint skew so sometimes you have the details like um, bolts or something like that and they get um, perspection errors because you are using a cage you know so basically you want to f change here to full and let's see yeah the cage is set up correctly and now we are going to the baker and we are going to use increase the normal map to 4k increasing the samples to 16k we're going to make just the normals uh, padding moderate I think it's enough it doesn't really add that much and now we can bake it bake it went to bake PST we could change it so it's up on here somewhere I don't know where but you know it can let me just change change it this right now test test normal normal two just bake it again okay test normal two oh it was here yeah. so let's open and why will we open Photoshop to see? You can also see one thing. As you can see, normal map is not applied to this mesh. But if you go and go to Baker and you see this little icon and you press it, the normal map will automatically be applied to the low poly. And here it is the low poly with the normal map applied. It's really beautiful. And the results are really nice on this. It's really awesome, I gotta say. As you can see, from this mesh to this one, it's really nice. No artifacts, no whatsoever. It's a really must buy um, feature in Marmoset. Let's see in Photoshop. Yeah, pretty nice. That's it, guys. That's it, that's it for this story. If you want to see more or something like that. Subscribe. See you guys.